panhandle of Texas, and thunderstorms abound throughout this region. There still is a watch for this area here, a severe thunderstorm watch for the panhandle. And graceful. But inside, the most intense weather on Earth. He's in trouble now, boys. destructive forces on our planet. In the next hour, we'll give you a feeling of what it's like to be in a hurricane through the eyes of men and women who have been there and lived to talk about it. Right now, it's 105 sustained winds. Hurricane George is kicking our butt. first. You know, hearing that wind squeal, it, you know, when it gets over 100 miles an hour, the wires and the, you know, hear the roar going through the trees and, and you know, and it gets to the point you start hearing things breaking, glass breaking. And, but just hearing that roar and that scream in the wind, it's just fascinating. It, you know, it's, it's it's hard to describe unless you've been there. Jim is a hurricane chaser. He's a member of the small fraternity that lives to be in the heart of the storm. And it's thanks to them we can take you inside the awesome power of a hurricane. When you're in hurricane force winds. Imagine being trapped in this stairwell. The constant whine of the wind. The winds were so strong that the condominium walls were literally vibrating and shaking to such an extent that the glass, uh, the glass walls and the glass windows were just absolutely busting out, breaking out. The sound and the roar of that hurricane and the vibration from the intensity of the wind was one I'll never forget. through the cracks of the porch. Not even a concrete stairwell feels safe. It's bad enough being trapped in that stairwell. Can you imagine being out in winds that fierce? Winds have no respect for man-made structures. Right now is 948 millibars. Man. We're not in the eye yet. <laughs> Man has yet to learn nature's tricks. Our buildings break, while trees merely bend to the will of the wind. 150, 160 now, easily. I got food insurance on my car. I hope I don't have to use it. Go to pieces. The roof. The whole thing's going to pieces. Roofs are no match for a hurricane's wind. And the flying debris is very dangerous. The higher the wind gets, the more euphoric I feel. Just seeing nature flex a muscle. This gas station's roof gives into the power of the wind. Sometimes you can get lucky and be in the right spot, but it's rare. Uh, you have to make that final adjustment, and once you're in that core, I mean, it's all hell breaking loose. It's not easy finding a safe spot in a hurricane. Yeah, move over there. 
especially when you're getting video. Imagine trying to shoot into the wind and rain. In fact, some of the most spectacular video has been shot from the relative safety of a car. Anyone caught in a hurricane won't soon forget the sting of the wind-driven rain. have another side, a side sometimes worse than wind. It's called surge, a rapid rise in water level that pushes on shore. Within minutes, surge transforms this parking lot, flooding cars their owners thought safe. Neither buildings nor people are safe from surge. Once the water starts rising, there is little that can be done to stop it. It goes wherever it wants. Once that water starts to rise, there's no, there's no getting out. So you have to realize that once you decide to stay in many places, your decision is nailed down. You can't change your mind at the last minute. I have to understand the sequence of events that could take my life. If I don't, I can be gobbled up by the, by the tidal surge more than anything. Storm surge takes even the most experienced chasers by surprise. That's what you call storm surge. I got a situation in Guam that I got surge coming in real fast. I knew what, what was going on because the storm wasn't that close yet. Storm surge is very, you know, serious, you know, and that's something that anybody, they say, to get out, get out. You can see Jim moved to higher ground. But look and see how much water had inundated the spot where he was originally standing. Surge breaks boats away from their moorings and sends them into nearby homes. It sweeps inland and crashes into buildings hundreds of yards away from the waterfront. people in this apartment complex that said they had been living there since the 40s and they said oh the storm the water's never come over the into this parking lot since 1947 and within two hours after that the, the water was four feet deep in that parking lot flushing all their furniture out of their apartments refrigerator adrift uh -huh. uh, refrigerator adrift dry streets rapidly become flowing rivers Wind and water, the twin blows a hurricane delivers to a community. Seen here through the lens of a storm chaser's cameras, putting their lives at risk to be in the heart of a storm. Let them uh, take the risk. You can see the video and see what's out there without having to go out there yourself. Most of the time, we hope that they will have a safe haven to go to, but that is an issue, and sooner or later, somebody out there in very dangerous weather is going to be hurt. It may make for spectacular video, but nevertheless, uh, somebody might die. I really wouldn't suggest it to anybody. It's something you just have to have in your blood. I'll never quit until the storm stops me, or, you know, it, I'll be doing this until you know, I'm 90 years old if I'm around that long. When we come back, Imagine a job where you have to stand in a hurricane before an audience in the tens of thousands.